People come to me every day saying, Tate, I can't pay off my student loans. But it doesn't matter how common this problem is, the people come to me feeling ashamed, foolish, and totally alone. But they're far from alone, and they have nothing to be ashamed of. The people I speak with are just like you. They're smart, they got their shit together, they're otherwise financially stable. But thanks to high interest rates, major life changes, or just unforgiving lenders, they're in a desperate situation that they can't escape from. But I'm about to tell you what I tell them. Come here, you can make these loans more manageable. Here's how. Firstly, if you got a private loan, you should contact your lender. You might be surprised. Sometimes they'll offer a deferment or forbearance or a lower interest rate, but those are only gonna be temporary fixes. If you're looking for more permanent relief, you're gonna have to do something a little bit more drastic. You'll either have to refinance for a lower interest rate and a longer repayment term, negotiate a settlement, or file for bankruptcy. Now, I know these options, they really sound scary. And sure, they might end up bruising your credit score, but this would only be temporary. And if it means you get out of the chokehold your loans have you in right now, well, I mean, Really, that feels like a small price to pay, don't you think? I did a deep dive on those three options in this video over here. Take a look if you're interested in those. That's private loans. But what about federal loans? The first thing you'll want to do is check out the loan simulator on studentaid.gov. Now, the link's in the description for you. It's a really good tool that can help you find the best repayment plan based on your situation. Heads up, to access these better repayment plans, you may need to consolidate your federal loans. This is usually the case if you went to school before 2010 or if you've got a Parent PLUS loan. Consolidating basically means combining some or all of your loans into one single loan through the Education Department. Doing this gives you access to better repayment options and forgiveness programs like the Income Driven Repayment Waiver, both of which could make your daily life a hell of a lot easier. Another thing to look into if you're struggling with your federal loans is to apply for loan forgiveness. To qualify for forgiveness programs, you've typically got to enroll in one of those IDR plans we just talked about and make payments for several years. And now if you want more on that opportunity, watch this video. Another thing, last year, the Biden administration announced a new program called the IDR Waiver Adjustment. This program is designed to give people with federal loans credit towards forgiveness for their time spent in repayment, long periods of forbearance, and some time in deferment. Now that waiver is expected to wipe out the entire loan balance of tens of thousands of people and put push millions more at least three years closer to loan forgiveness. I did a whole video on that program too. You can watch it over here. Well, there you have it. A couple of concrete ways to make your loans less of a burden. Of course, every situation is different. So if you need help making a decision, talk it through with a financial advisor or a student loan specialist. And hey, if you like talking to me, my virtual door is always open. There's a link in the description below for you to go ahead and book a call with me. If this video was helpful for you, give it a like so YouTube suggests it to others who need it. And if you want more free student loan advice every week, go ahead and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Peace.